You know, social media trend led to thousands of cars being stolen, both Kias and Hyundai models all across the country, including right here in New Mexico. Now attorneys general are trying to get the models recalled. News 13's Jessica Baron spoke with the New Mexico AG's office about the issue. That's not good enough. Whatever they're doing isn't good enough. And, and so they do need to be doing more. The Attorney General's Office of New Mexico has joined in on the effort to get two car models completely off the roads. Along with 17 other attorneys general, they have signed a letter that was sent out yesterday to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The issues began in 2020 when a social media trend popped up that showed people how easy it is to break into Hyundai and Kia cars and steal them. Some of the cars sold over the last decade do not have engine immobilizers, a standard feature on most cars that prevents the engine from starting unless the key is present. They put the video on the website, they made it a challenge, um, and then people did it, and it's blown up. The trend inspired thousands of car thefts and led to 14 crashes and 8 deaths across the country. On the AG's website, it states there were more than 30 stolen Hyundai and Kia model cars in Las Cruces between January and March. The group of attorneys general wrote their first letter in March to Hyundai and Kia asking them to address the safety concerns. Now, a month later, the group has sent a second letter demanding a recall. They were moving too slow and they weren't doing enough to address this really major issue. We reached out to both car companies for comment. Hyundai said they're committed to upgrading all affected vehicles and are communicating with the NHTSA. Kia says they're also addressing the concerns, but that a recall is neither appropriate or necessary under federal law. People are dying, and this is just such a major issue, and it's such a major safety issue. Not only are people dying, not only are crashes happening everywhere, but we have law enforcement that's being diverted to deal with this issue that shouldn't exist. Jessica Barron, KRQE News 13. The New Mexico AG's office says they're waiting to see how the NHTSA Kia and Hyundai respond to the latest letter before they decide how to move forward.